All right, Aaron Parker, Parker Safes and Bolts. We just got done installing an American Security in-swing door. And if you haven't done one of those doors yet, uh, be ready, it's a job. So um, I'm not sure who designed this door, but um, they've got some nice features on it. It's a great door. It's a half inch plate with, a, with an inch and an eighth of concrete behind it. But the installation is just horrendous. It's very hard. Uh, so whoever designed that, uh, I'm not a fan, and and it's really made for a for a wood opening, or for a wood um, wood framing, and so I still well, I've, I've mentioned this in some other videos, but I still can't imagine why or how you would want to fasten a solid half inch plate, really cool door, on a framed wall where you could just take a sawzall and cut the whole frame out and the door would fall in. Doesn't make any sense to me, but because of that design. It is super hard to install, especially on a concrete block room. Um, and it's just a hard door to install regardless. So you have to take, you have to take the door off. You gotta get it in place. And then you take the door off of the hinges. That's no easy task. So what you have to do is there are Allen wrench, there are Allen screws up in here. And you don't really have room to work in there. And there's not much clearance here. So you have to take those out uh, and, and they're hard. They're like, I mean, every crank is just, you know, it's like all your strength just to move the darn thing. You finally get that out, and there's a little ball, and that's part of the ball bearing system, which it makes it a really nice uh, hinge. But then this little hole here, which is about an eighth of an inch, if, once you get the, uh, the Allen set screw out and the ball out, there's another, the actual hinge pin, which is in here, has to be driven down from up here. Now on the bottom hinge, that's not so bad, even though that the little hole here is, it's tiny, like an eighth of an inch. Unfortunately, most punches are only about that long on the, on the punch side of the shaft, and then they get bigger to where you hit it with a hammer. But you have to drive that on out. So you have to have something like a, like a long, um, it'd be like a nail, but sturdy enough to knock it out, because it takes a lot of, a lot of impact a lot of force to get that hinge pin to drop out of that hole. So it's hard on the bottom hinge, but let me tell you, when you move up here to the top hinge, you've got no room to work up here. You've got, what is that, six inches or so. You've got to have a punch of some sort. So you end up with a pry bar and all kinds of stuff going on, blocks of wood, uh, you know, C-clamp maybe if you can get it to work in here, um, but, <laughs> almost impossible to drive that out of there. It took us, what, over an hour, probably to just, get time. This, to just get that um, punch down through to, to take the hinge pin out. So you get that all done, then you can take the door off. Then you've got to go through this weird um, assembly where you have two frames running into each other and you have to drill the holes through, through in these little holes here you drill a hole through this piece here, which runs behind this outer frame. So this is the inner frame. It's a, it's a big U-shaped um, inner frame, the header and the two legs. But your outer door comes in only to right here. So then this piece sits in behind there with no holes in it, of course, because that will accommodate up to a nine and a half inch wall. So that part's a, kind of a cool idea. But what isn't cool is you have to drill, you have to drill a hole uh, just through the steel without going into the concrete, you know, with a steel bit, then, then get that big enough and then put a concrete bit on, a masonry bit, to go on through and then run your lags. But the lags they give you are not, are not adequate for concrete, they're only good for uh, frame walls. So you have to come up with your own lags and, you know, we've got, we've done that in another video, but We've got a system for doing this, but this door, I mean, all they would have to do to change it is to make this a clamshell so that the two pieces mate, and then you would have just draw bolts like Graf Under, Fort Knox, a lot of other well-designed doors. And if you didn't want to do a clamshell, which I really like a clamshell because you can adjust the door after it's been, after it's been set. So if your house settles a little bit, you, you loosen up your draw bolts, and then you can adjust it, replumb and level everything, tighten those draw bolts back up, super easy, uh, and it's, gosh, they're easy to install. I mean, 
you can install a, a Fort Knox vault door in maybe um, 30 minutes once it's in place. I don't even think it takes that long. But these doors, I love American Security products. I'm, I'm a big fan of their safes, but their door, uh, the installation on these, unless I'm doing it wrong, and I've, I've been at this a while. So, I mean, we've used every trick in the book, it seems to do, do every time we do one of these doors, it's like every tool on the truck comes out. It is a, it, they're, a they're a pain. And all they would have to do is a clamshell effect, and that would alleviate the whole problem with with the wood framing thing and all that, you could go on wood if you wanted to. And I'd like to meet the guy that puts a door like this on a wood frame. I'd really like to have a chat with him because I think it's kind of like, probably like a unicorn. I don't think anybody exists that actually does that. But if you know somebody, leave them in the comments because I'd, like I'd like to chat with them. Um, but most people would put a heavy duty door like this on a concrete room or port, you know, port block, something like that. And that way the room is equally as substantial as the door. Okay, but if they didn't want to do a, a, a clamshell, all you'd have to do is run the inner frame with a, like a knife edge that would just stick all the way through here, say eight inches, and if your wall was bigger than that, that's no big deal, but then you would have holes in the eight inch, that knife edge, so then you would just basically have holes, and you could just, you could just run a, um, a drill and a concrete um, bit and then anchor those right into the face of the jam and then you could just trim it up if you wanted you know afterwards but you don't need this piece necessarily on the inside you certainly need it on the outside let's just look at that so we can see what we're talking about we got enough light sorry i know it's really dark the door is black and uh it's really late because we've been here all day but um you know this frame that needs to be there so that you can't get to the bolts and all that. That's great. So what you could do is just slide a frame like this. The knife edge would be here. Slide it right into place. Of course, the rough opening has to be exact, but they do anyway. And then you would just, from inside here, this would open up far enough. You could have to move, you'd have to move the hinges for it. But from, from inside, then you would just anchor in here and you'd be done. So, uh, there you have it. If you're looking at an American security door, great door, well designed, emergency egress, the bolt works, love it. I love how thick they are, the steel, hard to find a door with a half inch plate anymore, um, and especially with an inch and an eighth of concrete behind it. But my goodness, if you're going to install it, um, be ready. They're not easy. Uh, we can help you out if we run into a snag or something. Uh, I'll be happy to try to talk you through our system. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you have any comments on this, I know I'm a little sour, but I've been here all day um, and it just shouldn't have taken so long. So, got any comments there? Appreciate it. And uh, thanks for having a look.